Okay, hi, so what I'm going to show you today is how to actually create a little village on city skylines to get your city off going that uses a ring road system to try and increase the traffic flow around and give you a nice little area uh, to build your village. Uh, I really like doing it like this because it makes your individual sections of your city nicely self-contained and actually quite nice to look at, uh, although admittedly good for your early days doesn't really blow up fully to the massive ones to the massive cities but I'll deal with that in another tutorial but it's a great way to get yourself going so I've started out put power and water in just to get myself up and running and I'm just going to start building a little ring road around this what I'm going to be my village now never make any section of road too long okay and there's a reason behind that because what you want to do is you want to just sort of stop it now and then and put a little roundabout in. and they're going to be very important later on because as you build up this ring road it's going to basically join together and increase traffic flow now there's two ways to do this you can create it as a normal two-way street although i personally prefer to force the traffic in one direction and then as we move on to the other sections of the ring road going around, we start to branch them off. Further, more little roundabouts. And the good thing about these roundabouts up near the coast is that later on you can just build a bridge across or an, a hydro power plant if you want. Now, I could continue doing this all the way over this way, but I don't want to hit this forest yet, that's where I'm going to put my industry later on. Okay, so I'm going to start bending this around now. I'm going to put another that in here. And then I'm just going to finally wrap back that around to the front. Okay, now we've got a ring road now. What I do is I actually start to build my village inside these ring roads, inside this little area. So, the way I do that is I just use a branching method and I try and not to have too many of these little uh, sub villages coming onto a single road. And that's because it just it enhances the traffic flow if you're doing it like this. Even on this side here, I'm going to have another one, but you'll see that these two do what not actually me. Now you might want to join them up, but I prefer joining them up with cycle paths later on. Okay, now we start just making sure that we've got water to the whole thing. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint in a load of remnants. Right, and what you do then is, I don't like too much traffic on these roads here. I try and really reduce the amount of building that I do on these. Uh, usually put essential services, but of course you want every single little cul-de-sac to have access to some kind of commercial zone. So, just going to pop a couple of those in now. There we go. They're going to have a bit of commercial zone. I can't always guarantee how the houses are going to build early on either, which is a bit of a pain. So you might need to just pop a power line in somewhere. And, anyway, and you'll see now that this is starting to build up uh, little houses in this area. And although it might seem that you're wasting a bit of space, you know, a tight city block, you can get more actual houses into them. Uh, but what this does is that Obviously, I really hate the look of blocks. I'm not building for density. I'm building for aesthetic more than anything else. And that's why I like these little cul-de-sacs. Uh, later on, I can build cycle paths between these two points. And even off to the main road, that'll increase uh, my green credentials. Um, that's it, really. That's how you start building with these lovely little cul-de-sacs and actually on a ring road. And... Um, the ring road system, I really love it because your traffic should flow nicely around it, it should flow quickly and obviously anyone who needs to go to the highway is actually 
able to access it very, very rapidly. Uh, you'll see that I can just keep expanding this as I go along. I can just keep coming down here, but try not to put too many roads coming off into the same major road. If you need to, add extra links between your roundabouts and then run your cul-de-sacs off these. And you'll find that it's very, very quick and easy to build up this method. Uh, you don't need any serious skill to do it. And if you're new to the game, you're probably going to find it a lot easier to manage traffic flow. And as you get more ingenuitive and more imaginative, you know, go for it. Do it however you think is best. But I think this is a great newbie to the game approach because you don't need a lot of skill to design this. You can just roundabout road cul-de-sac and it builds up a nice little picture as you go along. Um, hopefully then you'll get very quickly up to the 500 population, you'll get the next money, uh, next amount of money in and then you can add services that increase the density. Now I might come back to this little map later on in some other video uh, when I start adding services to it and start looking at how we can develop an industrial area. Uh, any comments, I'd love to hear what you think about this kind of layout and how it works. Uh, don't, remember, don't forget to like and subscribe.